Today we're going to talk about how to check the thickness of your brake discs as well as the thickness of your brake pads. So this video will also uh, demonstrate how to remove and replace your brake pads. Now to measure the brake thickness of your, your brake disc uh, or your brake pads, you're going to need one of these. Okay. Uh, familiarize yourself with how to read this and and then uh, set about using it. Essentially, uh, you're going to measure the thickness of this. So let's go about and measure this one here. Um, you slip it on, and I like to just pinch the jaws like this, and then I just tighten it like that, tighten the lock on it, and then try and wiggle this thing off. Now this is coming off fairly good. And uh, if I check, I can see that it is measuring, I don't know if you can read that, uh, but it's measuring 0 0.180 inch. 0 0.180 inches is 4.57 millimeters. And the uh, service limit on the front discs are, according to my Haynes manual here, the front service limit on the front brake is 4.0. Standard thickness is 4.5, so I'm good. Uh, the rear, if I check my numbers, the rears turned out to be 0.2, which is 5.08 uh, millimeters, so that's good as well. Now, in order to check the thickness of the pads, you've got to remove the brake pads from the caliper. On these bikes, you don't have to remove the caliper itself, so that's, that's a good thing. Uh, the only time you have to remove the calipers is if you want to push the, the, the uh, pistons back into the calipers themselves, in, in which case uh, you'll have to remove this to replace the pads with a thicker pad. But if you're just checking the thickness of the pads, then all you've got to do is take the pads out and measure them. Okay? To do that, you just need to remove this spring clip here, pull it out with a pair of needle nose pliers, set it aside, and then using a uh, a T30 uh, uh, Torx uh, driver and a little ratchet like this you just unscrew that. This is called a uh, brake pad pin I believe. Uh, it's a pin, well, basically it's a bolt. I call everything a bolt. Uh, using your finger you hold down that spring, this is a spring and you pull the, the pad pin out then you remove the spring. The spring has a little arrow on it pointing in the direction of the disc travel as the disc passes through the caliper. So just remember that, set that aside. And then using your fingers you can just pull out, this is a dirty job, okay? Pull out the pads, remembering which side the pads came off of because the pads are kind of mated to the surface on the disc. So this is the right hand pad. Uh, you want to put this on the right side in front of you. And this one here is the left pad, so you want to put it on the left in front of you. Then you get your trusty old caliper measure, and you measure in the middle. Because I have noticed that uh, your, your brake pad can wear thinner on the leading edge uh, than on the trailing edge. Let me see if that's correct. Uh, actually, no, it's the other way around. It, it's thinner on the trailing edge, on the back edge here, okay, and it's thicker over here. So you kind of want to measure in the middle. You can see that there are grooves here and those are wear indicators. Right away without taking, going any further I can tell that this pad is good. But I'm going to take some measurements with this. So you just put your caliper like that, you take your measurement and measuring the backing plate as well as the pad material you get uh, 0.238 okay 0.238 inch and then measuring the uh, backing plate itself I'm getting 0 0.138 0 0.1 times 25.4 of course is equal to 2.54 millimeters so I've got 2.54 millimeters of pad material looking at my Haynes manual that I have Right next to me, I see that uh, the brake pad friction material wear limit is one millimeter. So I'm allowed to go down to one millimeter of pad thickness 
before I change my pads. So today's job is going to be much easier, much quicker. I'm not going to be changing my pads. What I might do is just wipe them up now that I've got them out of here. I'm going to just uh, clean up, just wipe, uh, for example, the pin before I put that in because I'm going to put a little grease on it. And this spring here, I'm going to just, you know, uh, give it a little bit of a wipe with my trusty old greasy cloth. Now, of course, I'm going to keep this cloth away from my friction material. I wouldn't let the friction material come in contact with anything grease-like or else instantly you have to change brake pads. So you don't want to touch any, any greasy surface uh, to your brake, uh, brake pad friction material. So those are the springs clean. If you want, you can use something like this. Uh, brake cleaner and give the give the old pads a spray and I'm gonna do that and then uh, we're gonna put these uh, pads back together good I've got my pads cleaned up a little bit it doesn't look a hell of a lot cleaner than before does it but uh, I just sprayed a little bit of brake cleaner on there and I got it back in uh, got it cleaned up a little bit now I'm gonna just slip this back in and you might find that you gotta wiggle it a little bit but Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention is, under no circumstances do you want to, uh, you know, pull your brake lever as you're uh, with these pads out. Because then the pistons will go in and then you've got to take the whole damn thing apart uh, to put it back. But So you slide those in like this, okay, and remember your good old spring clip here, uh, your, your spring I should say. You just put it in and rest it there. It has... Actually, let me show you. It has, oh, I had it upside down. It has this little uh, curved uh, bend in it here, and the bolt is going to go on top of that. So you just put this in like that and just rest it there for a minute. And then you take maybe a Q-tip or something, and then you apply a little bit of grease. So I'm going to use my finger and get some grease from my grease tub, and I'll just put it here in way of the shaft of this pin okay there we go so it's all nice and greasy with a small thin film a thin film of grease so I just stick this in here now you've got to catch that first pad okay with your with your pin and then find that little bend in that uh, spring and then catch the other you might have to fiddle with it a little bit press the spring down and you got the other pad you see that and then you push it through until it gets right into the hole now the threads are on this side so don't want to cross thread it okay so make sure that you've got that lined up straight uh, into the hole on the other side that hole is just a hole there's no threads there and then being very careful as you tighten it you just work it through like that and tighten it back I don't have a torque on this so again as I do when I have no torque I just tighten it with my wrist and that's it I remembered when I backed it off it wasn't much torque to get that broken loose so you just tighten it with your wrist and that's it that's done. That's the right front done. I'm going to go do the left front, make sure everything is good, clean it, put it back, and then we'll move on to the rear.